All right. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. It's uh, one fifty-seven p.m. Tuesday, April thirteenth, two thousand twenty-one. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you what I would have if I was not a makeup artist. And I know I'm not a very good one right now, but I'll get there eventually. But here we go. Okay, so this is my um, Jacob, sorry, Isaac Jacob case, or Jacob Isaac, one of the two. I don't really know right now. Um, so starting off, you see this is a little disorganized. Um, this is not in direct order either, and I'm not going to pull everything out, I don't think, because I don't have a, enough space on my lap to do so, but, um, the mascara that is the holy grail for me, and has been since 2016, is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. This is my newest one. I actually forgot to put it back in here. Let me take it out for a minute. I'll take out, I mean, I'll try to take things out, all right? Um, I have my Fenty Beauty stuff in here, my matchsticks in the color blonde, in the color linen. One's a concealer stick and one's a matchstick. And then I have my Fenty Glow lip gloss, which I'll show you again here in a minute. So in here, this is my eyeliners. I got a couple by NYX, a brown one and a black one by NYX. I got one by Too Faced, one by Physicians Formula, two by Physicians Formula, actually. This one by Marc Jacobs. I actually need to reorganize this a little bit. Maybe it'll shut better if I do. And I got my MAC lip glosses in here, and my Too Faced lip gloss, and my Fenty lipsticks along with my MAC lipsticks. They're over here in a container. Um, my favorite foundation of all time has to be the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This is my newest bottle. I have another one over there by the vanity. It's a lot darker than this one. This is shade 130. Don't know if you can see it. Uh, whatever, um, it's 130, and the other one is 260, my stepmom gave it to me, she's a lot darker than me, so yeah, and I got the matching concealer, this is shade 120, sorry about the shining, by the way, uh, my other fav favorite foundation, if I have to say, there's two, which I do, because I love these both, are the Max, sorry, Mac. Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15, Broad Spectrum SPF 15. And I got two more Fenty lip glosses here. This is a new to me kind of foundation. It's a CC cream, obviously. Um, in the color Light by... It's Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better, CC Plus, Color Correcting, Full Coverage, SPF 50, UVA and UVB, Broad Spectrum Cream. This is good stuff. I like it, but it looks a lot darker than it should be. Um, I'm trying to hurry, but I'm also wanting to go into a little bit more of an in-depth thing of my makeup that I wear every single day. This is stuff that I use on the daily. Hold on. Um, I got the MAC 24 hour Studio Fix Concealer. This one, as you can see, has been used and I've had that since 2019 with that, mat with that foundation that matches it. I've got the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner Eyeliner and the Fenty Mascara here. Um, I don't know what this is called right off. This is the Full Frontal Mascara, okay. And I got a Tristique Eyeliner in here. I don't even 
know what that's really about because I don't use anything by Tristique. Sorry, let me move my leg. Whew. That actually hurts a little bit. I got my MAC strobe cream. I love this stuff. Like, I've used it for a long time, and I will continue to use it probably throughout the rest of time. I got two of these milk blush sticks. I only need one in here. I, in total, I've got four. I need to put one of these over by the vanity. So I'm going to take one out and put one in. And three uh, NYX eyeshadows here. And a Claire's eyeshadow that I just used. Two more matchsticks and a Clinique concealer that needs to go into the makeup case over by the vanity. I have a massive makeup collection, guys. Like, not like most people, but there's a lot more than just this. But this is what I use on the daily. Like, if I were not a makeup YouTuber, this is what I would use. Let's put it that way. Okay. Let me try to put everything back in here as neatly as possible. Or whatever way will fit in this case. I don't really care about anything being neat. Um, we're just going to try to move on after this because this actually is a little... Scary, because I feel like I'm going to drop everything when I pick this up out of here. Don't want to jinx it, though, because if I do, that will be a joke to pick everything back up. And I might break some stuff that actually I like. So let's just be careful. Um, I got this nice Ofra palette that I really like. And I do use it from time to time. Not very much, but from time to time. The Good To Go Ofra palette. Mini Mix palette. This is a nice one. Um, then I got my Fenty butter, Loose Butter Powder. Um, the Universal Setting Powder. I got two of these Huda Beauty Nude Light and the Pastels Lilac Eyeshadow Palettes. I got this brand new trophy trophy wife. I actually need to take this out of the case until I run out of the other one. And I got a new ginger binge in here as well. Ginger binge and Moscow Mule. So two brand new ones. They need to be taken out of the case and put into the other makeup case until they get emptied. Okay, so for now I got the uh, Diamond Balm. How many carrots? Diamond Balm thing. I don't know what you call it right off. I'm sorry. I'm tired right now, guys. I wouldn't remember even if I was tired because that's how little I use it. Alright, so I'm trying to dig everything out and show you as I put it back in. You all know what that is, so I don't need to show you. Like, there are brands in here that I've used in past videos that I still love and live by, like NYX. And, uh, this is mostly just Fenty, though, like, I love Fenty and MAC. Okay, so, we're just gonna leave it right there. I got this Fenty Beauty eyeshadow palette. This is the Moroccan Spice palette. It's a very beautiful eyeshadow palette. If you have not seen it, you need to look it up. I don't really want to open it just yet. Take all of these out. All right, so I got the afternoon snack kilowatt foil eyeshadow um, highlighter eyeshadow palette, whatever it's called. I got pennies for you, pennies for you thoughts. That's a bronzer, actually. I don't really use it. I don't think I've ever used it, to be honest. But we'll find out what I do in the future. I got the original Fenty palette, as I call it. 
the Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. It's beautiful. Um, I've got Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule right here. Maybe there's a reason I have them set over here. Because I always do my makeup over here on the couch. Alright, so this is What a Brat. This is the one I just mixed with Trophy Wife, which is the next one. Trophy Wife. I love Trophy Wife. It's so beautiful. Okay, so you already knows what knows know what these are called. So let me put this one in the bottom first, because it is the second biggest palette in here. And then put these in there. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can do this where everything that I use on the daily will fit and will take with me on the go will fit. I got the NYX Sweet, Cheek, Sweet Cheeks. This is in the color Citrine Rose. This actually goes on a lot darker than it looks like it does. So if you are fair skinned like me and you purchase that blush, I warn you now, be careful when you apply it. Definitely tap your brush off as much as you possibly can because it looks like clown paint on me. I'm an ivory skin tone, so yeah. I got this... Um, Sophia Mabel Champagne Toast Wet Glow Highlighter. It's actually very pretty. Of course, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't have it, so... Yeah. I'm gonna put this down here, my butter powder. Then this How Many Carrots Diamond Balm. Yep, it's a diamond bomb. This one is so old, it's discolored. My sister gave me that one a long time ago. My universal powder. Um, I'm going to try to find a place to put these NYX eyeshadows where they won't fall and break or get damaged because I actually really like them. My favorite one is the green, green one because I love green. And who knows, I might add NYX into this box in the future okay so starting into the mac blushes i've got six of them in total so we're starting with um dainty this one was hard for me to find this is a popular color or it was at my when i was in high school i got endless sunshine and um pink swoon I think that one has been discontinued. I don't know. This is Dolly Mix. And the other two I have are Rosie Does It, which is a beautiful purple, and Cheeky Devil, the beautiful pink. All right, so I think I can put everything back in here now. I'm going to put the Claire's eyeshadow palette down here too so I don't lose it. I have that on today. Man, it looks like it'll actually close this time. Like, really. Maybe I can put some stuff in the bottom, like the uh, matchsticks, because I don't always use them. But on the rare occasion that I do, it's because I ran out of my favorite concealer. Maybe they won't fit. Shit. No, they won't fit. I gotta figure out a way to organize this case. I also need to figure out a mirror to put in here. So I need to uh, reorganize this whole case, like switch everything around, like maybe take all the um, eyeliners out of where they are, which is right here and the lip glosses, even though my lipsticks are standing right there, and put the foundations right there, they'll fit. So I'm going to do that real quick if I can, while the other ones are laying on my lap. The only one that won't fit right there is the Fenty one, but that's okay. That's just one.
The MAC one will fit perfectly, and the two concealers will fit there along with the strobe cream, supposedly. Perhaps it would be more wise to put the strobe cream right there so that if I put anything like a eyeliner pencil, over here, then I can uh, easily access it. Okay, that's about as good as I'm going to try to do. I don't even care right now. I'm in far too much pain with my mouth to care. So I'm going to put the lip glosses on the other side. And the eyeliners and the mascara so that I have everything that I use on the daily handy right here maybe all the lipsticks will fit in the same compartment even though there's literally six and that's way too big for six and now my two mascaras and I gotta figure out a place to put the matchsticks still. So I think that sucks about having a case like this, which I know this is not my only case, but this is the one thing that does suck about it. Like, if you wanna put more than one thing in there, you gotta move something out or move something around, which is really kind of weird. I gotta put my three Fenty lip glosses in there somehow. Maybe I can put the foundation up on top because I always start with foundation and concealer during a makeup routine. All right, so. All right, so the spray stuff I had in there that's going over to the makeup case, I will take it over there as soon as I get done with this video. And I'm about to be done here in one minute as soon as I shut this case. If I can get it to shut. There we go. So that's what I would have if I was not a makeup artist on YouTube. That's my favorite case. I've got some caboodle cases, but I may not keep them much longer because I'm trying to sell them. And I know I shouldn't have admitted that on the internet, but you know what? There's far worse things on here than me just admitting that. So I'm going to take this other stuff over to the uh, vanity real quick. I've got four items in total to take, two brand new Fenty blushes and a small concealer from Clinique and a blush stick from NARS sorry milk milk I probably got about four or five of these blush sticks so I don't really need to buy the full size one yet I planned on doing that for my birthday and now I don't need to my birthday is in a month literally 30 days away to be exact because come to think of it, today is the 13th, and my birthday is May 13th. That's why I had my ears re-pierced, my ear re-pierced today. Um, and they did it right this time, thankfully. And I've got some laundry to get out of the dryer, and some mail to go check, because I want to see if one of my boxes came yet. But I want to show myself on camera where I'm going to put this stuff. Now you see? Holy shit, I literally do have five of those. Guess here's four. Here's a concealer. There's my other Fenty foundation, see? And I want this somewhere where it won't get broken. Where am I going to put this? These. Because these are very expensive. If you have not known that about Fenty by now, then A, you've never bought it, or B, you've never heard of it. Until this video. 
that foundation alone let me show you the shade difference between this one and my other one this is shade 260 but this one will work almost perfectly when I become tan so yeah also I need to spray my face in place this is my favorite setting spray but I keep it over here because I'm trying to start doing makeup over here hold on Now I'm taking my apron off because I don't want to lose it. And I'm calling it quits. Because, well, I'm done. So. I am currently leaving you at 2.18 p.m. If you're new, please subscribe. Um, have a wonderful day and peace.